Hello everyone, my name is Chad Weiner, and today I want to review with you our radius mapping solution for Dynamics 365. Our Dynamics 365 radius mapping solution helps display records location on a map. And there's two main scenarios we're talking about here. Um, our solution shows records of a particular view, clustering those near each other. Um, so for example, my active accounts on a map can be displayed to help plan out a sales trip. And this quick screenshot here, we can see in Dynamics 365, we're looking at my active company's view, and we have our radius map here that is showing all of our accounts clustered. So we've got 15 accounts here in the Colorado area, uh, seven uh, and two on the West Coast, so we can kind of see the distribution among our accounts. The second use case is you can embed these maps onto say the account form to show nearest contacts to that account. So when I'm on an account, I want to see all the contacts within a 50 mile radius. Or maybe you want to have this map on an opportunity that lists all of the accounts in your system that are customer type partners so that you can help your salespeople quickly identify the closest partners uh, to that opportunity that they're working on. Um, and our solution it is, is of course configurable for entity, the clustering, so do you want them to cluster within um, 50 miles, 100 miles, and then from the radius from the source. A little bit more details about our solution. It does improve the out-of-the-box experience, again, by allowing records to be easily displayed on a visual map based on radius from the source records. Um, and again, an account record could have a map on the form which displays all contacts within a 20 or 50 or 100 mile radius. Um, this is easily configured through Dynamics 365 by someone like a power user or a system administrator. Our solution does only display accounts, contacts, and leads in the map. However, a map can be placed on um, any form um, but again, only accounts and contacts and leads are going to be displayed. So you could embed a map on, say, a case form showing all of the accounts in a 50-mile radius of the uh, customer specified in the incident. Or maybe that's vendors or partners that could help service them. And our solution does include a plugin to help you geocode the records. Uh, geocoding adds latitude and longitude coordinates to the records so that they can be rendered appropriately on the maps. Our solution is a managed solution with an easy to use interface embedded directly within Dynamics 365. It leverages Microsoft Bing Map integration and it drops into any new or existing Dynamics 365 system with ease. It can be installed or configured by a system administrator or power user using the provided user and install guides provided by Fullscope. And it benefits users who are frequently making visits and want to have better insights into the geography of their customers or prospects or leads and increase the number of productive visits that they're having. I'll cover three use cases during this demonstration. Users will have the ability to visualize their accounts on a map to help them plan trips or see accounts near each other. Users will have the ability to open an account record and see all the contacts within a 50 mile radius of that account. And they can easily find nearby partner account records when on an opportunity record. The two demo personas that we'll kind of be talking about are the system administrator and the power user. That person's gonna be responsible for things like installing the solution and other various components, creating a Bing map for the organization and getting that configured, setting up some of those radius mapping configuration records. Do you want accounts to cluster within 50 miles of each other, 250 miles of each other? Um, again, those is highly configurable by a user. And then if you want the maps embedded onto, say, your account form, your opportunity form, like I may show you in the following demo, um, a power user is certainly able to do that. The second is the sales manager or sales representative role. Again, this is going to allow them to view account, contact, or lead distributions on the map, leveraging that clustering so they can see um, how many of their accounts are near each other. Um, and then they're able to review my active accounts and filter those things down to be able to optimize things like visits and call plans. So I'm, if I'm looking at my active records and I'm going to something like a, a Colorado conference, I can filter down all my records by the state of Colorado, visualize those on a map, 
and maybe pick out the four or five that are near the convention center that I'll be visiting. Let's go ahead and dive into Dynamics 365 and take a look at the three use cases we just described. So here we are in Dynamics 365, looking at My Active Company's view. And when the radius mapping solution is installed, there are certain charts that become map enabled that when looking at a list of records, say My Active Companies, I can open up the chart pane to reveal the account locations chart map, which is going to show all of my records that are displayed here visually on the map clustered by radius. So I can see the distribution across the United States here. If I were to zoom in, say on the state of Colorado, we can see as I zoom in, the records kind of decluster. And as I can continue to zoom in, they'll continue to break out as we get closer to the records. And then we can finally see the record names. So I can see the distribution. Um, I can see I've got some accounts in Boulder, some accounts in the Denver Tech Center. Maybe I want to plan one day and get a hotel here and another day and get a hotel here. You can also filter down these views. So if I know that I'm going to the state of Colorado and I really just want to filter down uh, touch to my Colorado states, I can go ahead and filter the list view and we'll see the chart map will dynamically filter as well. Clicking on one of these pins will take me to a little pop-up that'll navigate me to that account record. So I know that I have an opportunity brewing um, with Boeing. So let's go ahead and check that out. As well as while I'm in the area, there may be additional contacts that I wanna reach out to. So when I'm on the Boeing account page, I have a tab called nearby contacts that's going to render that map and show me contacts within the system that are nearby the Boeing headquarters that we have listed. So maybe while I'm in town, I maybe want to reach out to Benji, Don, or Alex to have coffee, dinner, or talk about the opportunity. So again, this is going to show me contacts that both work at Boeing and not at Boeing so that I could potentially optimize that uh, trip, make more connections, and close more deals. As I mentioned, we have an opportunity open with Boeing so let's go ahead and drill down into that opportunity record. We're here, we're looking for partners that may be able to aid us in this uh, business pursuit. So within our Dynamics 365 instance, we have account records where the relationship type is partner. These are partners that help us within our pursuits. And I wanna help identify partners that are nearby Boeing to help me in my pursuit. So similar to on the account page viewing nearby contacts, when we're on an opportunity, we can view nearby partners. So clicking on the nearby partners is going to render the uh, map showing us here in blue where our Boeing headquarters opportunity is. And then around here in green are going to be our close by partner account records. So we can see Reedstone and Riviera Services Group are nearby. I know Reedstone is one of our best partners, so I'm going to lead with them. But it's good to know that there are additional partners nearby should we need to pull in additional resources. Thank you for watching this video overview of our radius mapping solution for Dynamics 365. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account director. Thank you so much and have a great day.